Hello all, welcome to my channel. In the previous video of interview analysis system, we discuss about how to create the linked list of topic and how to write the same into the file. Now today, I will demonstrate you how to read the comma separated file into linked list. For example, what happens whenever you log in as an admin over here and whenever you click on the manage topic over here, whenever you press here the option number four, the record will not be displayed. The reason is what I was creating the link list and I'm writing the link list into the file. So data is available into the file, but my link list is a fresh every time whenever I'm executing the project. Now what happened? Suppose if you open this topic.txt file, then there are three records, one Java, two SQL, three aptitude that I've written into the previous video, but I'm not able to read this three record over here into this system. So what to do in this case, it is very simple. You can read your comma separated text file. This is the comma separated text file that you can read into link list. How we can do this? Let's see practically. Now I want to read the topic.txt into this structure, right? And this is my link list that is the head topic. So I want to initialize this variable with the data in file. So here we can do what we can create simple one function and that function is read topic from file and you can initialize your link list. So here you can simply write that the head topic is equal to null current topic is equal to null. Now here you can simply write file pointer fp is equal to f open and you can open your topic.txt file. This my topic.txt file is the comma separated file. I'm just opening that particular file in a read mode. Now here we can write a simple loop to retrieve the data. So here we can write that while f scanf of here you can provide the three argument file pointer control string and the variable in which you want to load the data until and unless the file is not reaching to end of file. I want to run this particular loop. Here you can mention the file pointer. So my file is topic.txt. What you want to read? I want to read the topic ID, topic description, topic instructor, and the total question. So here you can provide the control string that is percentage D. Now my file is comma separated. So I'm writing here percentage and read the data until and unless not reaching to comma. Here you can write the same thing over here that is percentage read from the file until and unless not reaching to comma and here you can write percentage D that is for the total number of question. So where you want to read this data so you can write here the variable and the variable is I want to read the data into topic T1 variable. So here we can write simple T1 dot topic ID. So whenever you are reading the integer value don't forget to write the address but if you are reading the string value then do not mention the address you can write t1 dot topic description t1 dot topic instructor and here you can write m person t1 dot total question so one by one the data will be read into this t1 variable now based on this i want to create the link list node so I'm declaring here one variable and that is the pointer node. Now I want to create the node for the link list. So I'm writing here node is equal to you can initialize the dynamic memory allocation over here. That is malloc and you can write size of topic. So what happened? The size of topic one node will be created and here you can write node dot topic ID is equal to T1 dot topic ID. So I'm reading one by one record from the file and that I'm assigning to this node. And here you can write string copy of because whenever you, you want to initialize one string into another string, then you can use the function string copy and you can write node dot topic description equal to T1 dot topic description. So whatever in this case, this is the source string and this is the destination string. So t1 dot topic description will be assigned to node dot topic description. You can write here string copy of node dot topic instructor is equal to t1 dot topic instructor. And here you can write 
node dot total question is equal to t1 dot total question. So one node is created and at last you can say that node dot next is equal to null. So one by one each and every record will be created into node. Now I want to initialize this node into my head topic variable. So here we can write the simple condition if head topic equal equal null it means that nothing is available in my link list. If nothing is there in the link list then you can simply write current topic equal to head topic equal to this node. So this will become my first node if nothing is there in my link list. But if my link list is there then I want to add this node at the last. So here we can write the condition in else case I want to add this at the last. So here you can say current topic is equal to current topic dot next equal to node. So what happened? The newly created node will be assigned to current topic dot next and that will become my current topic. So if a first record is there then it will be my head. Second record is coming then you can say that the second record will become the node will be assigned to current dot next. So it will be my second record. So my current topic is second record. Now third record is coming. So third record is coming. Then you can say node is third. So current dot next is my third record. Right. So my current will be now third. So one by one you can say that the first record will be your head and the last record that will be your current. So the link list will be created. Once a link list is created now I want to call this function. And that is the read topic file. So where we can call this function whenever user enter into the admin menu we can call this function that is read topic file. So here we can move to the menu and the menu is what if user is valid it means that the if valid admin is there then we can read the topic file. So what it will do it will load the data into the link list. So file data will be available into the link list and once it is available in the link list then we can easily perform the insert update and delete with the link list. You can simply build and run your code. Whenever you build and run you will get the three option and the three option is login as an admin, login as a candidate and register candidate. Let me choose the option one login as an admin. So I'm writing here admin, admin and let me click the option that is manage topic. If you display the topic then your record will be available over here. It means that the record from the file is loaded over here. Now you can add the record. For example let me add the record and the record is for example topic SEO instructor is Ankit and the total question is 54. Let me display the topic. Yes SEO is there. Now let me move back and let me come to the manage topic again. Now I want to add one more topic over here and the topic is for example statistics. Now instructor is for example Kalpesh and the total question is for example 25. Now suppose if you press enter and if you display the topic there are five topics are there and ID is auto increment over here that is starting from five. Now you can move back. Now you can move back and whenever you move back the topic is written successfully into the file. Now you can check your file. See here this is my file and you can see here there are five records are available. It means that my five records are inserted into the file. Now suppose if I am exit from this project and if I am running this project again and now I am logging to the admin and if I am providing admin admin and if I am moving to the manage topic and if I display the record it will display the five records. So this is the way you can read your file data into link list. In the next video we will discuss about how to modify the topic and how to delete the topic. So that's it from my side. If you like this video then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.